What's good with the 2.0 family, man? It's your neighborhood bro, Desmo, checking in once again, man. Hoping you guys are having a wonderful day out there, man, because y'all know me, man. I'm blessed. I'm blessed by the best, you know what I'm saying? Of course, if you guys see the title of this freaking video, man, y'all know what we're going to be getting into, man. First thing first, though, family, man, I want to make sure everybody who tuned in smash that freaking like button and all my newcomers scroll down right now. Smash that freaking subscribe button, hit that notification bell to get notified for whenever your boy drop, because I swear I got it coming, man. I'm trying to pick up on the upload, so, man, y'all just bear with me, man. I got it coming, man. I got them bangers. But anyway, without further ado, man, let's get to the video. Boy just copped them a Breville juicer, man. The ultimate job, man. The juice found the leap. I actually caught this job on the documentary Fat, Sick, and Nearly Dead by Joe Cross. Seen that on YouTube like a couple years ago. I was really just inspired by how he was able to transform his health. Like, I think it was like 60 days. And I also learned so much because, bro, when you think about it, it's crazy how food, living food, can transform your body just like that, bro. Like, bro, body changed like in 60 days. I thought that was so insane. Like, bro, you literally transform your entire life, your entire direction of your health in two months, bro. Like, I feel like it just created so much motivation for me. You know what I'm saying? To let me know that anything is possible, bro. Like, like they'll tell you, you'll live with diabetes for the rest of your life. Or you will suffer with this disease for the rest of your life in just 60 days, bro. He showed me your know, life can change, like, literally for the better. You know what I mean? Like, so what's also so crazy about that whole thing is bro lost, like, I'm not mistaken, I think he lost, like, 80, 85 pounds, bro, in 60 days, bro. 80 pounds in two months? God, dude, that's... Boy, that fat jet melting, rolling off you, jet. Yeah, <laughs> where he did falling. <laughs> Bernardo family man, true inspiration. Joe Cross, fat, sick, and nearly dead. If you guys hadn't checked out that documentary, bro, I definitely advise you guys to check it out. Anyway, we finna get into the unboxing of my Breville Juice Found Elite, man. Let's get it. So, bro, this is gonna look crazy. They say when you invest in the juicer, it's best to spend your money. It's best to spend that good money on the juicer. So, I got the best that I feel like there was, the best that I knew about besides Nama. I know about Nama. Them just fire too, but this one right here, it stood out to me. It looked like something. Like, it just looked like something crazy. Like, look at this job, bro. Like, <laughs> Look like 
like some crazy. It looks like some futuristic, bro. It's like a glass up top. It's like this plastic little garbage bag for the uh, for the pump and stuff to go in on the other end. It got like the where the juice come out up top. You stick the produce up top, and then got like this little latch. A quick few fun facts that I know for sure about this Breville juicer is that number one, it is a thousand watt juicer, bro. Say this. Why is that important? A thousand watt juicer is a pretty high wattage when it comes to an over the counter juicer, right? So think about this, bro. The higher the wattage of a juicer means it can take a whole lot more when it comes to produce or it can handle more heavier things when it comes to juicing. Like, bro, I think this thing can juice a potato. Like, real talk, like, probably end up trying it one day, but bro, more heavier things, bro, you'll be able to juice with this thing. Now, the very next fun fact about this juicer that I know for sure is that it has this very large chute on top of the juicer, right? Now, what does a large chute mean? Hold your horses, I tell you. A large chute for a juicer means that you rarely would have to cut up your produce when it comes to sticking it down the chute. In some juices, in a lot of juices, actually, a lot of juices, you may have to cut up the produce, you know what I mean? That get it to all fit. So with this large chute, you can pretty much stick a large quantity of fruits and vegetables in the chute. You can pretty much bypass all the cutting, all that extra stuff by just putting it down there. Especially if it can fit in this hole, you can stick it down there. That's what she said. <laughs> And the very last fun fact that I have about this juicer is that they say it's easy to clean, right? It only makes sense, right, bro? It's not big, bro. Look how big this juicer is, bro. It don't have too many tight spaces. Like, look at this, bro. Like, all you gotta do is take the top off. It look like it's pretty simple to clean. Like, I just took the, uh, whatever this part is. I don't know exactly what it's called, but it look pretty simple to clean. Like, it don't look hard at all. Anyway, family man, now that I broke down the fun facts of this juicer, man, I like to make my first juice on camera for y'all, man. Extremely excited to get juicing with this thing, man. Like I said, it's my first juicer, and they say this is one of the best juices on the market right now. So, I want y'all to bear witness. We gonna put it to the test. We gonna see if they actually true about what they talking about, man. So, without further ado, family man, let's get into the juicing, man. Let's get it. So today, family, man, we're going to be making a green juice, man. As y'all can see, man, we got some Granny Smith apples right here. We got a head of celery. We got a couple heads of romaine. And we got, like, a mixed greens back there in the back. We're going to juice all that. Hopefully, it turn out good, y'all, man. I know it's going to turn out good, man. Y'all stay tuned, bro. So, y'all know we got to wash up our produce. Give it a good, give it a good rinse. Make sure it's all good. Got all my produce washed up. Now it's time to get the juicing, man. So the very first thing I'm gonna juice is my lettuce, man. My romaine lettuce, man. Let's get it popping. Next, I'm gonna hit that good celery up, man. Say, I gotta put this down on a high. So, let's see how they go. Decided since my pitcher pretty much filled up, man, I'ma uh, pour it in a mason jar, man. I got my mason jar, I'ma just pour it in. And I see it though, like fill up the whole 32. Ooh, hold on, man. Fill up the whole 32 ounce jar. Mm, 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 mm. So the very next thing we gonna juice today, y'all, is the mixed grains, man. Now the mixed grains, it should be a simple juice. So uh, see how they come out. Uh, Stuff in, stuff out of me, yeah. Stuff in right now.
got the mixed greens juiced up pretty good, man. It came out pretty well, honestly. It really wasn't too much that came out, but you know what I'm saying? It's a, you know, it's progress. It's progress, you know what I mean? Last and certainly not least, man, we got our Granny Smith apple, which is last on the list of juice, man. It's probably the most important produce in today's juice, so we are gonna get this done popping. Unfortunately, we're not gonna be able to stick the whole thing in. I gotta cut it. Uh, cause it's a little too big to fit down the shoe, so it's all good, man. I ain't tripping my dad. Let's go ahead and get the cutting. All right, y'all family, man. Now that we got our apple all cut up, man, we can go ahead and start dropping them bad boys in there. Another thing too, you guys do not have to take the seeds out. So just in case you guys ask that down in the comment section, they tell us not to take the seeds out. You don't have to. I mean, you can if you like, but you don't have to. You know what I mean? So stuff as many as you can down the chute. Set that down. Put it on a high setting since the apple is a more hardier fruit. So we'll get that jumping. So now y'all, we pretty much done with the juice. As y'all can see, a lot of the stuff floated to the top. A lot of the apple juice on the bottom, man, looked really good. So now with this container right here, with majority of our celery and romaine, we kind of got to infuse the two. So that's what I'm going to do right now. After making this big mess, man, now it's time for the moment of truth. So let me just shake this jump up right here. So I kind of make, you know, get it kind of mixed in. And uh, let's see how that bad boy coming, man. Cheers. Tell you that. 10 out of 10 for the win. No cap. I ain't gonna lie. This juicer is amazing. My first juicer. I really, I don't know, bro. It's kind of hard to like say like this juicer is pretty good. I mean, it made this juice really well. I ain't gonna lie. So comparing it to other juices, I can't really say because this is my very first juicer. I say that it did a really good job on this, bro. I give it a 10 out of 10 for the win. No cap. If you guys want to check out this juicer, man, the link gonna be in the description for it below, man. I highly recommend this. I ain't gonna lie. They ain't endorsing me. They ain't paying me to say none of this, but bro, based off what I didn't seen today, bro, I'd get me one of these. If I were you, I'd get one for sure. But uh, if you guys like this freaking video, man, this mess that I made, but it was a good mess, man. It was a nice looking mess. You know what I'm saying? Smash the freaking like button, bro. If you like this type of content, I definitely enjoy coming with this video for you guys, man. I ain't gonna lie, bro. This is like the one of the probably the most best investments that I made besides getting my Vitamix uh, a few years ago. Yeah, man, I definitely, I highly advise you guys to get you one of these, bro. These just are the bomb.com. Shout out to Joe Cross, man, for putting me on, man. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the rest of y'all night. I'm gonna get the edit in this bad boy. Hopefully, I can put it out for you guys and you guys can understand. I can be entertaining. All that, bro. See you guys. Stay tuned, man. 2.0 family, man. Your boy neighborhood bro and dad's bro. I got it for you, bro. I got it for you, man. So you guys should stay tuned. I'm going to holler at y'all. I'm going to see y'all in a little minute. I'm going to holler at you, man. In three, two, one.